utilize a very active hitbox to cover your space, still hold on to your jump. But it's just, like, really weird. You don't see m many Pyros use it in disadvantage at all. And if I'm Mao, I'm mm -hmm. tight now. Because now you are looking at the winner between two Diddies, which is a lot of Aegis players say is the worst matchup for Aegis. So now you either get Diddy or you get Diddy. We're going to see a yeah. Diddo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come it's out a, here, <laughs> loser yeah, it, it, it did, yeah. Which di which Diddy Kong will reign supreme? Welcome to the jungle. Infernape. I mean, very good at this matchup. We saw um, played Haze um, very, very well on Monday. Um, who, if you are unfamiliar, if you're not the most familiar with the Tri-State scene, Haze newly PR'd, I yep. believe, this last season yep, yep. on on that New Jersey PR. Very talented Diddy Kong. Certainly so as well. Absolutely, he's, he's been, been on a tear. For a hot minute in Ultimate. Yeah, no, he that he just keeps leveling up every time I Bro, see him. So is Infernape, honestly. Bro grinded when his arm was broken. Like there was a period in Tri-State where Hayes was going to tournaments because his arm was broken. Like he had like a metal rod or oh, something I, on his arm. No, I actually get that though. I taught myself how to play Smash with no, one I'm hand when saying, I broke my wrist chill, in three places. Just let it heal. That's how I got you into know, casting. You know it's literally I broke my wrist and I was like, I, I guess I'm just gonna go <laughs> cast cast tournaments now because I want to go to tournaments. That's crazy. And then I just fell in love with it. So that being said, how'd you break your wrist if you have a car accident? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I was expecting something uh, silly. Like, Hayes, Hayes broke his arm while arm wrestling. Oh, that's actually hilarious. Yeah. But, you know, Hayes is only here in spirit as that's we've right. got Rex versus uh -oh. Infernape and loser semis. This, that, the, that's, the biggest that? that's the biggest puzzle I, in this matchup is how do you pull banana? I know I, I've heard Rivers and Tweak talk a lot about how, well, you just don't pull banana in this matchup yeah, because you know? if your opponent gets it, then they suddenly they, have they two. They know what to and, do too. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what but to do with it. You see a lot of Diddy's just kind of pull both, just throw them back and forth, and try and get the juggle situation going. And it's always interesting to see because every single Diddy Kong player has a different philosophy on when to pull banana in the ditto, and it's so unique compared to the rest of the game. Like, so we, we see mm -hmm. two different, also exceptional things mm -hmm. about these players. We have Infernape's excellent execution plus his movement mix-ups. Uh, and great mm -hmm. adaptability against Rex's clutch factor. Absolutely. And to be fair, I think I would take Infernape in mm -hmm. this set. I, I agree with I you. I think Infernape. there's just a little more experience than anything. That yes, being said, I think sure. Rex has the potential. One Rex of the big, has the clutch mm -hmm. gene embedded within him. One of the big differences we've seen so far in these two playstyles in this set has been Infernape's desire to always let... Well, I, it's funny, except there. But for the most part, let Rex pull banana first and then use his banana to whiff punish the other banana pull. And then oh, yeah. find situations where he gets an advantage state, then gets to pick up his opponent's banana as well, rather than and kind of opt away from it unless he can find those 2v1, two for one banana situations. Also, talk about insane. <laughs> Monkey noises intensify. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even Monday. There's like so many Diddy noises and bananas flying everywhere. I'm like getting overstimulated. <laughs> I I feel that. My ADHD I feel that. is running at Mach 5 right now. Oh, and barely able to find it back. His way back to stage. Infernape now just trying to find the pressure. I love that fade back on the Nair just to try and find... Re recognizing you don't get a true follow-up, so able trying to find the continuation on platform. But Rex clutching it out, as you mentioned, that coming in on... Right on Q and just... Clutch G, he's got it. Yeah, it's just insane. Like, Infernape now kind of put in a situation where he has to play really defensive, take some risks, and it's going to allow Rex, just like there, right, to find these jump callouts, uh, which is the staple of Infernape's play. He loves to jump in at you, whether it's with... Like, he'll mix it with Pop Gun with Banana. He yeah. won't always... But he doesn't approach grounded, especially at the beginning of a set, very often. That's that's the thing as well. Is like, you will change fundamentally how you play just because every ditto in this game boils your game plan now mm -hmm. down to its most, like, simple essence. And what I mean by that is it's it depends on how well you can dissect your own character in neutral and how well you know mm -hmm. how to punish your own character in neutral because both of you have the same options at your disposal. So it's, it's, it's really just that who can outplay the other in Nooch. The punish game will speak for itself just because, you know, and you'll know what to do. Longtime players of, of Diddy Kong 2 have an extra advantage in this matchup because, well, obviously, playtime... Great stuff there from Rex closing it out. No, but Rex is going in, off. In 
when you in Diddy, with Diddy Kong, right, especially, like every character, obviously, the more playtime you have, the better the ditto you're going to be. But with Diddy Kong especially, one of the changes in Ultimate is, yeah, banana gets two uses, but you only get one banana instead of two now. Yeah. In the ditto, however, you, you still bananas. have two bananas, <laughs> just like you did in Brawl, just Extra like you did potassium. in Smash 4. And, and PO, I think. And, yeah, and, and so you have that kind of extra ability where if you've been playing this character long enough, you suddenly know what to do with that extra banana that, you know, suddenly might be like, oh, it might be a ditto specific thing if you're new to ultimate, but if you're not, then but you just get a click again. Diddy had access to four bananas in the ditto. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. Don't. The horror. The horror of quad <laughs> banana. It, it's like playing Snake. It's pretty crazy. I had a thought in my head, but it completely left me, and now I'm sad. Um, but don't oh, yeah. be sad. We have amazing it. gameplay to watch. I found it. So, fun fact about Rex's bracket run: he started in losers round one. He uh, lost what, huh? to he lost to yes, he did. He lost like either Steezy or somebody else. Or, no, he lost to Steelix. He I'm lost to Steelix uh, round one. I'm pretty sure Rex lost to Steelix, Steelix round one, and that was. I think it was. I think it was round maybe round two because Steelix beat um, the person I played in round one. This guy is a closer. That being oh, said, that first stock is going to get closed yeah. The, yeah. abruptly by Infernape right there. Bro, that excellent I, I swear, there. Diddy Kong, of every character in Ultimate, Diddy Kong has the coolest looking bread and butters, right? Banana yeah, banana down that's air. True. The, the, the banana. It's visually satisfying. Yeah, but Z catch neutral air into that whole combo extension. Like, all this stuff is people are like, oh, that's crazy. It's like, guys, no, this is just a bread and butter for this <laughs> character. All right, big F smash coming out. Fernie now can play with this lead just a bit more. He's got Rex in the corner and doesn't really have any immediate risk unless he catches like a back air or some straight sort of forward air. Are you kidding me, Rex? Found banana into banana into down smash? Crazy. And why not? Showing in for a taste of his own medicine, Double right? Looking trouble. for those looking for those down smashes all night. And instead that time it's it's Rex finally actually closing it out in Fernet. Come close, but no cigar, and instead he's the one who gets the short end of the stick. Still, the pressure the, the Infernape is exhibiting. Like, he is trying to stay on Rex, like, using these monkey flips as more of a movement tool rather than, like, mm -hmm. a I'm gonna attack right here type beat. And also just closing out banana constantly. Down tilt to get under. Like, that was so intentional, too. He Me? didn't try to crouch, <laughs> he just said, okay, you're gonna monkey flip here. I'm gonna just get underneath this and clap it up a little bit for the attempt. Finding the pressure here. This is Infernape's opportunity with Rex in the corner. The flip kick is out. Banana did call out the barrels, but even without a jump, able to reset Rex, finding the reversal once again. And Infernape has had a lot more corner situations than Rex has, but Rex has just been so much more efficient in these corner situations. Oh, yeah. Alright, though. Excellent patience right there on Rex's part. Just shielding with Banana in hand as many did he's like to do. And uh-oh! It's a duo! Oh, the down tilt into the down tilt. You clap it back and forth, Jesus. but unfortunately, once again, Rex clutching it out, looking to go up 2-0 here. Oh the my banana God. reset! He's cooking right now! Chef Rex is in the oh kitchen with God. no intentions of turning the snow off. And now he's got the banana once again, able to reset here. Er, Infernape able to pull out the banana, but that one's just going to trade, so they're just going back and forth, and we're seeing... Infernape did it really oh well to start God, the game. Oh my God, there's no but escape. Dude, is, you're going to eat this potassium whether you like it or not, Re bro. Rex has just done an incredible job at every opportunity now using these bananas reactively. Jesus Christ. And just like, like, Infernape started really well. Rex was like, oh, I like that. And then just since then, it feels like every time he pulls banana, he's punishing Infernape for holding his own banana and just like taking it all the way to town. It, and it's just... On the flip side as well, when Rex has two bananas at his disposal, is using them extremely, mm. extremely well. And he's well. using one of them. Like, he's not trying to juggle both of them. Like, you'll see a lot of Diddy's do. He's using one for stage control. This item plays. And then, how do you escape mm -hmm. that, bro? You like, can't. You, There's no way. Right, it covers. He used the first banana to cover neutral get up. Jumped, covering jump. Down through the second banana to cover roll in. And then found the punnet. Like, huh? It's insane. Honestly, we're it, taking it now. Bro, he's just slipping and sliding his way to victory. For real. It's, it's, it's do or die for Infernape at this point. One of the mob's very best. Westchester's last rep, I believe, in this bracket as well. Yeah, one of very few Westchester reps.
Yeah. Uh, I think it's the only one to come out yeah. today, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's Ramadan, it's Pesach, it's, it's Easter, <laughs> right? Like, sure. everything is going on this weekend. So, oh a lot God, of people not Easter around, tomorrow. as well as, uh, you know, New Jersey not really coming out because, well, yeah. MTF has an arcade in as well today down in uh, Pennsylvania. So the thing we got, you know, if you're looking to get into Smash, now is the time. I mean, there's so True. many locals at your disposal you can go to. If you are still choosing to play Wi-Fi, you are you're an insane person. I agree, unless you don't have another option like me. <laughs> That's true. Then you just then, then then you just grind. You just hustle. Yeah. Then you're just unfortunate, honestly. Look at Speaking the patience of, on I... Rex's part. Rex is not flinching. Mm -hmm. All the pizzazz that Infernape is throwing at him, bro, is not moving. Yeah. And I love Infernape's choice here to go to Kalos as well because you're saying okay, Infernape or sorry, yeah, Rex is kind of found a lot more efficient ways to take stocks early than I have. So what am I going to do? I'm going to give myself the space to really play this slower pace of play that's got me to this point in bracket. It give me these more neutral opportunities and just oh, try and, nah, and just play more neutral interactions, not really have to worry with as explosive an, an advantage state. Rex says, you know what, though? I don't care. I'm still going to find these stocks regardless. That's the thing, it's like, it's not, Infernape uh, Fern definitely has the right way penciled down on how to play Diddy. But at the end of the day, Rex is closing out these stocks because he is finding the openings to do so. He's not waiting for an opportunity to present itself, he's attacking it. And I think that's one thing a lot of mid-level players definitely struggle at, is they, they're so obsessed with playing the right way, they're not really finishing their food as, as much as they could be. And, and Rex definitely, I think we're seeing, you know, I don't think we're going to be seeing the last of his Diddy Kong at, at these no. heights anytime soon, because Every single game since he's been put in losers, not just every set, every game, he's played better than he has at any point in bracket so far. He's just heating up as it goes on, almost like, honestly, like Light does, and it's just so impressive to watch. It feels like no matter what adaptations Infernape has, Rex is just ready with something new and just pulls something completely out of nowhere that he couldn't even be ready for because it's all in response to just new tricks Infernape is showing, and it's just like, Rex is like, oh, okay, you're going to give me these three tools? Okay, I'm going to find a way to turn this into like a gourmet meal. And it's Fernandez now finally to play where he's at his strongest, which is when his opponent's on the ledge and trying to get back to stage. Mm -hmm. His ledge trapping has been superb it's this been entire immaculate. bracket so far. But mm -hmm. when you're getting pressured in, in neutral, you don't really get to play that game. Yeah. You have to win the advantage first, which I think is mm -hmm. the reason why Rex has had such a good mm -hmm. time so far. And the first two games too, right? Like he didn't really get the opportunities, right? We talked exactly. a lot about Rex's ledge trapping and edge guarding because it felt like Infernape wasn't really, like, every time he was getting it to, his, his opponent to ledge, it was contested. Rex would find the reversal and then clean it up from there. Ooh. I love these ledge mix-ups with the walls to boot, right? Did he not just They're have not a wall jump, though. but a wall cling? Infernape's managed to hold onto the stocks a little bit longer, but again, Rex just so efficient in those situations. He's also just so patient. In moments where mm -hmm. Infernape is trying to throw, like, a Yahtzee at him real quick, Rex is just holding shield on the ground, not taking the bait, and just waiting for the opportunity to punish. Which is why he's been able to net as much mileage as he has been. Mm -hmm. And now, we're on last stock, it's do or die, and Fernape needs to hold this stage positioning if he wants to close yep. this game out. And, and I love just opting to just find the Z-drop neutral errors, right? Saying, okay, I, I'm gonna control this aerial space, I'm oh, not gonna let you just no, flip it past me! He's oh. smiling, because he knows he just got away with murder! No. Bro committed, is that gonna be it? Bro committed triple homicide, and he walked out of the courtroom for free! They never caught the culprit! Unbelievable, and Rex is I, gonna quick 30 yeah, and a let's, handshake Let's see infernate. if we can get a, a replay of that Jesus here. Christ! Like, look, look at this. no way! Look, look, like, hold on, let's... Enter let's... the lotto! <laughs> the plot armor is unreal! Look at Infernape's face, bro! Like, let's let's take a look at what exactly what happens here. So we've got the flip kit, oh. the monkey flip here. Here, and then, once again, right, just... He double jumps back past ledge. I love the... The fair. Oh. I think he fared right here. Yeah, let's take a look at what happens. Fair? He, yeah, he fares the landing. No, he ducks matrixed it! He, he matrixed he, it! He, he deadass got onto oh the limbo. How God. low can... Fang, how low can you go? Apparently pretty dang low. That was not intentional either. Like, I think that was literally just a counter hit that he got away with. There's no shot. That yeah, was like, look at... The, it literally is... Even with the zoom in... Oh on the God. Even with on the zoom in, the pen is... The pen is literally the distance between... Infernape and the ba or bet <laughs> between Rex and the banana. And how do we choose we to get back to stage so here? We monkey flip really. Yeah, Rex is laughing because he knows, bro. And the crazy thing is too, like that's just a like when, that when you say you have clutch <laughs> factor, that's what we mean. It's not just it's plot you're you're too, gonna bro. yeah. It's the ability to 
not just close out situations and play better as it goes on and, and convert when the going gets tough. Yeah. It's also just sometimes you just you get roll lucky. With it. You roll with right? the luck when you and get it. You know, what? nobody, right? If, and if you don't believe us, go look at MK Leo. Honestly, yeah. I love Leo. Sure. Very he's a, talented. He's cheated but, death many a time. But like, go watch, watch, watch like Leo versus Cola, for example, because I swear every time those two play, Cola just gets cheesed out of a game. It's being able to stay composed in those situations too when things just don't go to Q. A mm -hmm. lot of players will let that jar them at all levels of play. Rex laughed it off and kept it hustling, mm -hmm. and that's why he was able to close out that game yeah. where Infernape was just like, damn, that shit sucks. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, the way I, you know, especially this incredibly long losers run, right, that Rex has been on, the mental this has been. This is unreal, bro. Yeah, mental's on point. Um, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Now you're gu guaranteed top three for this Arcadian. You have a potential to make it all the way to Grands. And what